Brandon from Conroe has a question about a fireplace conversion. Well, he's considering switching his wood-burning one, Tom, to a gas one. That'll work. And it's actually pretty easy because Brandon writes, the fireplace is new, so it has the knockout for the gas line yeah. to enter from the exterior. Okay, mm-hmm. It sounds good so far. There is no gas in our neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a, okay. Next question, that's please. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so um, here's, here's his I'm plan. Listening. I'm going to run a line from the fireplace to an automatic switchover regulator outside, connecting that via flexos to propane bottles, you know, like the ones you get at the store, yeah. to run the fireplace. Brandon wants to know, will this work? Yeah. It's that simple. The answer is, yeah, you can get bigger propane bottles like the ones we use on forklifts and things like that. So you can certainly do a a propane. And with a uh, gas log, it's just going to take a different... uh uh, it's called a little orifice. It just it it's a smaller. It runs on a different pressure. But when you when you buy your gas logs, tell them you're going to be running propane and not natural gas, and they'll they'll get you the right set for that. But it's just like a furnace, a water heater, even a, a cooktop in your home. They have little different orifices that that let the the gas out, but it can all be converted to a propane system. You know, when we used to do generators, Mm -hmm. with generators, I learned that if you run on natural gas, you get a certain level of performance, but if you run on propane, you get a higher level. Well, it's like, it's liquid gas. It's, it runs on a higher pressure. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. And it, it, and it will be, it'll, you'll get more kilowatts is what you're telling me out of the generator. But at the same time, you need a great big propane tank out there (laughs) because it's going to run it fast. The HOA will love that. Yeah. Put it on the front lawn. Well, no, it's it's a railroad commission here in Texas. It's like a 300-gallon tank. We used to put them, those big tanks out in people that had property that was acreage. No, my point is, if you're living like in Lakes of Parkway, you put that on your front lawn. Yeah, they're not going to like that. I, I think they, you'll hear from the HOA before dark. Yeah, you can bury it, but then you're responsible when it rots out. If you keep it above ground, you're not responsible. You bury it, then you got other issues. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be easier just to pay again natural gas? Okay. <laughs> well, no, he didn't have gas in his neighborhood. In the whole neighborhood, yeah, that would be pricey. Yeah, that's right. so. Quite frankly, I think it's it's you just shouldn't do it at all and get some get one of those logs and just light it. I don't like that. Except you clean up after it. I know, but you know how much propane tanks he's going to have to store to make a fire all night long. Maybe he's not going to make it all night. Okay, if you want a fifteen minute fire, okay, uh, w- w- okay, it's gonna burn more than fifteen minutes. Your grill runs for for a while there, right? No, no, your grill no, no. I moved mine to natural gas. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, I used to run out in the middle of a steak. I'm like, God oh, Almighty, because you never know. You kind of shake it. And you how, wonder how, how much is in there. How big a steak you make it? <laughs> oh no, right. Fred Flintstone. And if you want to watch this or any other of our videos, you know, if you want a yabba dabba do good <laughs> answer, go. go ahead and send us your question to homeshowradio.com using the Ask Tom form. We'll answer it just like this or maybe somewhat more concisely, um, like these videos over here. Go ahead. Check the other ones. 